Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Gunsbox VR. I always want to say Gunbox VR, but it's actually Gunsbox, plural, which I've always heard of Gunbox, but not Gunsbox. Anyways, it's the game that released on the Steam Store yesterday, February 1st, 2022, for the Valve Index, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality, so HTC Vive, not, not in there, that's strange. This game did release in early access. It normally retails for 16 bucks. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Curator Connect program to review this game. And even though I'm calling this a Let's Play Initial Impressions, I've already finished the campaign. So I did all of these four. As you can see, they're 100% on all of them. And it took me about an hour, but that some of that was just me trying to figure out the game and what it wanted me to do. There is, as you can see, a training here. But once you finish the training, <laughs> it's blacked out, which I don't understand. I actually want to do the training again just to refresh my memory. Um, but that's not possible, uh, at least not from here. Uh, it may be if you walk over there. Now, I do notice some stutter. I don't know if you see it on the video recording, but... I noticed some stutter in the game. The game runs fine for the most part, 90 frames per second. It's running on the Unity engine, but for whatever reason, I'm experiencing lots of stutters. Like almost every 10 seconds, it stutters, and it's really disrupting. Um, this I would consider this a major bug. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it is affecting uh, my experience. Uh, these are some of the, I guess, some of the achievements I've gotten playing this game so you can see that I have most of them uh, but I guess first of all I want to say I do like this game and I think the visuals look really good this is an improvement on most of the gun range games I've been playing recently on Steam you know, I've been criticized for not being a gun expert on those videos which is fine you know I've never claimed at any point that I was a gun expert um, but I have played many gun range games in VR and that's where I'm coming from. I'm not coming from being an expert on firearms. I'm not, um, I'm not a firearms expert at all, but I have played several gun range games in VR. So I know what's good and what's not. And that's where I'm coming from. This game is an improvement. Uh, a lot of the ones I've re reviewed earlier. Uh, earlier this this year and last year weren't very good and I mentioned the fault with those games and I stand by my videos uh, I think I've had a lot of sour grapes from developers and friends of developers who didn't like my my criticism and that's fine that's part of the job I suppose even though I don't get paid for this job so <laughs> uh, but this is a major bug I'm experiencing the funny thing is I did not experience this yesterday but I played this game twice today and I checked the integrity of the Steam files, and I'm still... Let's go ahead and start playing, though, because uh, there's no point. Uh, as you can see, I've done all these. Let's start with the easiest one to show you. Uh, here's my loadout, max score, whatever. Now, the cool thing about this game is that you can make your own levels. That's pretty cool. So it does give it a lot of longevity if you're interested in making your own levels. Uh, the good thing now is that the stuttering has stopped. <laughs> so once you're actually in the actual gun range, it does stop. So thank goodness for that. Now, as you can tell, this is teleport only currently. Uh, I would like to see full locomotion and smooth turning. It only has teleportation and snap turning currently. Uh, these are all the handguns for this level. Again, I chose a handgun mode. So these are the different handguns. And as you can see, they spawn over there. Okay, and then you can see the different uh, attachments, <laughs> the gloves. Okay, what, what, why do we care what gloves? <laughs> okay, and as you can see, we have the uh, magnet hands. Okay, so let's uh, let's select, select this gun. I don't want any attachments on it. This is a handgun. I just like it, you know, basic. Uh, oh, the sights on this one are pretty difficult. <laughs> Let me look at some of the other. This is the one I was using. Yeah, the sights are this one are much better. This is what I get for trying to play randomly and not. Ooh, I like the sights on this one. This is pretty cool. 
So I might not choose my first election. This is okay. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. You know what? I'm going to use this one since... Uh, oh. This is... Okay. I don't know which one this is, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's start. So as you can see, she wants... There's a list of things you have to do before you start the round. So this is like a competitive thing almost where you have to select the weapon, load and insert magazine. That's already done for you at the start. But if you want to retry, you have to do that yourself. Chamber round. We haven't done that. Turn safety on. So this you press Y or B to pull the safety on or off. Okay, chamber round. Easy, right? And reholster weapon. Are you ready? Yes. So the first thing you want to do is obviously turn off the safety. Oh, actually, actually. It was probably the faster way to do it just to eject the mag and restart. So I didn't do it the fastest way. And it gives you what your five points for your five hits. I think that's the maximum, but our time, our time wasn't very good. <laughs> we need to improve our time. And we only got two stars. That's not bad, that's not bad. So we're not gonna try again. We're gonna go to the next stage. And as you go along, it does get, you know, it does get more difficult. There's more stuff to do. Uh, you'll have to move around for some, like <laughs> again, select our weapon. I think we chose this one, right? Uh, I'm not sure I like the sights on that one. Okay. This looks almost the same. I don't uh, This one I like even less. Okay, this is better. Okay. All right. So let's go. Make ready. Okay, chamber round. Reholster. If I do have one criticism of this game, it, 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 see this? I'm glad I chose this gun. Okay, let's let's do the whole thing from again. Okay, it's it's not letting me chamber around. Is there a different? How is this one? Huh? Am I not am I not hold, am I not chambering it correctly? Okay, let's try this again. Huh, okay, there's definitely an issue here. So you saw that I was finally able to chamber it, but it took several attempts and I and it switched hands by accident, and then when I used my right hand I could chamber it. Are you ready? Stand by And I also think this could be more beginner friendly. Uh there's really no instructions on what you're supposed to do. Like, I don't know if those X's, if you're supposed to shoot four times around that. Okay, we failed. Uh, so it says mic 10 minus 40. So, uh, huh. We hit four things that we weren't supposed to hit. So I'm a little confused there. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I hit. Let's try again. Make ready. Okay. Chamber round. Yeah, it do, it's same issue. It doesn't want to do it. So we're going to... Well, it doesn't want to do it this way either. Okay. Is, is there is there some is there something I'm doing wrong? Is, okay. Okay, I'm not sure exactly. Again, this could use a better tutorial.
Man, I, I, again, I don't know if we're supposed to be doing this. I don't think so. But we'll see at the end. Okay, let's see. Let's see what... Oh, come on. Range is clear. Okay, we still got minus 10 points for four hits. And we got no shoot 10. We, we got a lot of minus points. So I think we're only supposed to hit the bottom target. So let's go ahead and try again. Again, this is something that a tutorial could be very helpful so you know what to do. Again, I'm not claiming to be a gun range expert. But, you know, there, there's no instructions here. And I'm still struggling with this. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. So we're only going to shoot the bottom target. And... I think I learned my lesson from the previous. Okay, it's still got minus 10. Uh... <laughs> And I know I've, I know I've com successfully completed this, so, okay, so maybe we're supposed to hit inside the circle, outside the circle, maybe three hits in a row. L let's do that. Yeah, so maybe, okay, I'm not sure I understand the way this is done properly. Okay, <laughs> hopefully that solved our problem. Okay, yes, we did it. We finally figured out what they wanted. So as you can see, this time we didn't get any negative points. So that made us be able to clear the gun range. But again, that was very unclear. And I've done this before. I guess I just didn't know what I did right the last time. But there we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Again, if, if you're not familiar with the gun range, you just do that by trial and error. Um, because, as you can see, there's no instructions anywhere. Like, not, none. You're just supposed to know that's what you're supposed to do. Anyways, let's, let's, uh, let's not go to the, let's, uh, is there a way to get, I want to go to the ch shotgun range now. So... Huh. Okay. Ah, there we go. So we want to return to lobby. Sorry. And let's do the campaign. Let's do shotgun for dummies. And let's do the first level again, and let's start. Let's look at that. Uh... Huh. Strange. It's not... It's not showing up again. Okay, resume res settings. Uh, yeah, the, the settings are high... In the multi tool, which so there's not very many settings available, it's only for graphical settings. Like I said, there's no settings for changing locomotion. 
Uh, let's just choose the first shotgun. We're not going to choose any attachments. Actually, we should. Uh, and uh, let me show you some of the issues. Or maybe there won't be an issue this time. But I've had issues trying to put attachments on. Okay, this time there was no issue. But I've had attachments uh, float all around and not being able to put them on. So, Make ready. okay, chamber round. And holding both hands, pu muzzle point. Okay, yes. Okay. And this is one of the things that I'm confused about. It doesn't want to... Okay, so <laughs> the thing that took the longest time, it didn't take me 13 seconds to do all that. It was just getting it to recognize that I was done. And I have no idea. Again, there's no instructions. So let's go to the, let's go to the next stage. So there really needs to be clear instructions on how you show clear with all the different weapons. I'm still even after doing it. Actually, let me show the other one because the other one is pretty buggy. So let's try to put a sight on it. Actually, let me put some of the, one of the sights that I, I was having problems with. So let's. I was trying to put this on, but now it's working. Huh, okay, well, never mind. It's working now. Earlier it wasn't working, so Make ready. I had lots of problems with it earlier. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, sort of. Stand by. Okay. I had to not use a sight because it, it was not working. My sight isn't working. Okay. I can't put, oh, I can't grab it. See, uh, here I'm having an issue. I can't, I can't, I can't two hand it. Like it's not letting me. Okay, finally, whoa. Okay, again, success, but I wasn't sure on how to show clear at the end. And we didn't do as well, but we had kind of a slow start. Okay, so uh, let's again, let's, uh, let's, let's try to leave. And again, it's not showing up. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm pressing the same button I was pressing earlier to get out, and it's not. Whew. Okay. Again, this game is in early access, so some bugs are to be expected. Um, but believe it or not, I do like this game, and I do recommend it. It is budget priced, but there are some bugs, and right now the bug is I cannot get out of here. No matter what I press... Yeah, it's, it's, oh, there it is, finally. Wow, okay, that's forever. Maybe it just takes a while. Um, let's return to lobby. But I was pressing every, everything. <laughs> it just wasn't working. Okay, finally. Uh, I think this might be the last one. The, the last one is just a normal gun range, so I don't know if I just want to show that or not. Okay, all right. So I'm not sure there's a difference. One, is, I think, just one's is silver, the other one's black or cobalt. Uh, Make ready. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Stand by.
And I don't know if you need to. Maybe you don't. Do you? You know, I'm I'm gonna go on the safe side and just. Do we need to put the safety on? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, let's return to lobby because I don't want to make this a very long video. But I'm gonna show the last part, which is the uh, just the, nor the normal gun range. Uh, we don't want to do a warm up though. Actually, we want to. Ooh, again from from the main lobby, I get lots of stuttering. But once I'm actually in the game, it's it's not a problem. It runs fine. So this game does run fine, study 90 frames per second once you're actually playing the game. But in the main hub area, it's very laggy. Um, let's see, can, can we switch weapons? No, we have to use handgun. I don't know where you use rifles. I know you can use rifles. Uh, let's just stick to the first one. Yeah, I like the gun sights here, okay. So this one again. Make ready. Charge chamber the round. Are you ready? Yes. Stand by. Okay. And again, we learned our lesson from last time. I can't even see the uh, the target, so I'm not going to improve on that. So I'm not going to get all the targets, because I can't even see the target. Okay. There we go. I don't think we did too bad. I think we did pretty good, but, you know, it's just, I cannot. So you see the mic, one hit, minus 10, and that's just because I just can't see the target. <laughs> I can't couldn't see it. Uh, but it's not bad. Um, you know, our time is pretty slow, but we can probably improve on that. I mean, not, not bad. So again, let's, uh, you do unlock stuff as you go along. I've already unlocked gloves and I unlocked a, the, the black revolver versus the silver one. Uh, so there is just unlocks as you go along. But let's, let's, uh, okay, there we go. Let's return to lobby. So that's Gunsbox VR. It's in early access. Uh, my overall impressions, again, <laughs> uh, I do like it and I do recommend it, but there is a serious bug at the moment where here in the main hub area, I get constant stutters, you know, just, just freezes like every 10 seconds. So there's a serious bug here. However, it does not affect the actual gameplay so when you're actually in the gun range i don't f experience this issue at all so it's fine there i like the visuals i like the gun models uh i do like that there's an editor here and there's a workshop here there's a steam workshop and as you can see some people have already uploaded theirs let's just see one just to see it um but i can't say that it'll be any good because <laughs> i don't know um so i i do question what the quality will be like um, but here, here you go. Uh, okay. So you're supposed to climb up there and shoot stuff with the revolver. Okay. Again, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. So <laughs> let's see. Yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> if you're already a pro, then this, what? Oh, come on. Disqualification. Oh, come on. I don't even know how to get... I wasn't trying to. Try again. Make ready. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Stand by. The target's too far away. I cannot see. <laughs> Maybe I need new glasses, but this... I 
finally got it. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, you can see the... For me, it's just too far away. Plus, the gun sights on the revolver aren't the best. It kind of has to be a little higher than you think it is. So I noticed that just in the normal one, that it wasn't that far away. But uh, once you get used to the weapon, it shouldn't be that difficult. But since I'm still getting used to it, I'm like, yeah, that target's too far away. And I am not familiar with the sight enough to be able to, to hit that target on a consistent basis. Um, but overall, I, I, like I said, I do like this game. Uh, the graphics are good. Uh, the gun models are good. Um, the weapon handling, for the most part, is good when it's not buggy. I did have some bugs, like I mentioned. It wasn't on the video. It didn't happen this time. But I have I had issues before trying to put attachments on the weapon where they just flew all over the place. Um, or just they just didn't want to go on. This time, though, it, they went perfectly fine without any issues. So that's good. But as you see, I also had some issues with, with chambering the rounds as one of the handguns and also two-handing one of, one of the weapons. I had difficulty uh, doing that, uh, but it worked for the most part. So, you know, you'll have an issue here and there, but for the most part, it does. The weapons do handle fine when they're, you know, when they're working properly, they, they handle just fine. Uh, but only teleportation, only snap turning. Uh, we'd like to see full locomotion, smooth turning available. Uh, I like to see more stuff from the dev versus relying on Steam Workshop. So I definitely like to see like a more in the campaign because, like I said, I finished the campaign in about an hour. Now, obviously, this is one of those games where you're going to want to try to beat your time. So you're going to be playing them over and over again to get you know at least three stars on them. Like I, like you saw, I only got star like in one star on one of them, and I only got two stars on the rest. So definitely, I can improve my time on those and keep trying. Uh, there's different weapons to try, but again, I'd like to see more weapon variety. Um, I didn't see the rifles. Uh, I know there's rifles in this game, so I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, but yeah, overall, my impressions are good. Uh, if I have to score it right now based on everything, I would give this a 6.5 out of 10. Again, some, some of the bugs need to be ironed out, and I could give it a higher score, maybe a 7 or a 7.5. Uh, with more content, I can even go higher. But yeah, this is a much better gun range game than all the recent ones I've reviewed recently. Um, so if you've been following my channel, hopefully you see now difference between a good gun range game and between a bad one. Because I've been reviewing lots of bad ones and I've been getting some flack for it from people claiming that I didn't know what I, I was talking about. But, you know, yeah, I'm not a gun expert, but I am a gun range VR uh, veteran who's played several of them. So I know what's the difference between a good one and a bad one. And uh, this is one of, one of the good ones, and I do recommend it. Uh, but it could definitely improve. It is in early access, though, and it is budget price. So I do recommend it. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.